Hi. Hi. I think I'm live. How you doing? Um, welcome everyone. I'm late today. Sorry about that. Today we're going to be talking about uh, when you've been cast in a small role. Um, what do you do? How do you make the best of it? How do you make sure that you have fun, that you're having a real character, that you're having an impact, all of those yummy things. And so usually what happens when people get cast in a small role, Aloha Claude, um, is that you may be thinking, oh shoot, like I wanted something bigger and this is not important or it's disappointing because I'm not part of the big story or I'm not carrying the story or I'm not part of the team. Maybe they're shooting, you know, for three months so it's a TV show and I only get to come for a day and so I'm not part of anything. I don't feel the family. I don't I don't feel the connection. I don't get to work with the director. So very often I hear actors being disappointed about little roles, little parts. And um so you may be feeling that um, you're, you're not included and that you may not know what to bring because if you're not having connection with the director, you're not having much information on the script about the role because it seems to be like a small, unimportant role. You don't know what to do because basically there's a couple of lines and you're not sure what they want. So you might find yourself freezing a little bit or just rushing it or not giving it importance to yourself but then it's not very fulfilling for you because you know you're not approaching it from your heart from your soul so if it's unfulfilling to you it's an unfulfilling in the moment and then it's also unfulfilling in terms of the impact that you have on an audience or on the casting director so um, you may have done many many acting classes and you may spend a lot of time in your acting studio and usually when you do a scene you're going to be focused, of course, on a part that's really juicier and meatier than a small part. And so you don't really know how to access those little parts. So the first thing that I would like to say um, that to me is the, the reason why this is challenging to do a little role is because you're making it and thinking it as small or little. And you're making it a role, a job. When in fact what's happening is it's a full-time person who is living the circumstances that your character is living. No matter how small or big those circumstances are, it's actually always going to be a human being. So a full person that has a full life with a full childhood and some a, a, a full journey and cycle of life that makes them pop in a movie at that time but they are a full person they're not a small thing so first of all your perception um, is really what is at the core of how difficult or how challenging it can be to connect relate and get fulfilled by a small role small being that because it's a real um, real sized human being living that moment in the script. Um, and so if that is the case, if it's a real person, it's really about how much of your real person are you yourself, yourself able to bring to the table? So how much access do you have to the full life that runs through your veins? How much access do you have to your human instrument would be the first thing I would look at. If you don't have full access to the life that's inside of you, to your full instrument, your aliveness, your soul, your emotions, your body, your energy, your soul, like all of what makes you you, if you don't have 100% access to that, you're going to have a tendency to have access to the, the the mask part of you, the coping part of you, the functional part of you, but not the deep part of you, you're going to have less to bring to the table because you only have a little bit to work with. And so if you don't have access to your full instrument, you're going to have a tendency to function from your ego to make up for the lack of truth of energy that's there. And that ego is going to try and make that small character really interesting 
And therefore, it's not going to come from the inside out. It's going to try to look good, try to be right, try to be impressive. So maybe they notice you. And so out the window goes the human being on the character side. Out the window goes the human being on your side. It's all ego. It's all performance. It's all looking good. And so it's not fulfilling for you. It's not palpable for the casting director, for the audience. It's not impactful. And so the, the way through this is to actually, again, go to realizing that a small role is nonetheless a real human being, a full-sized human being, and they are going through their own journey and the camera may capture that little moment of their journey. But it's then your responsibility to really create, develop, embody, and be the beginning of that journey, the moment that's there, and then the end of it. I usually tell the actors we work with that those small roles are really the opportunity for you to be extremely creative because there is no info about your life. And therefore, you get to bring something that's really purposeful for you, something that's really meaningful for you, something that's close to your soul, something that makes sense for you. If everything is written, it's a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it's, you're a little more held in the space of what is written. If nothing's written, you get to come with propositions that are very creative. You get to, to really, we don't use imagination in the work we do. We use, you, we use downloads, so you get to access really what type of life do you want to create for this character? How is it meaningful to you? Why would you be that person in that moment living those circumstances? And make that relevant for you, the before, during, and after. And if that's relevant and truthful for you, the cycle that they are going through, the moment that the camera captures the little bit that you're in, that will feel very alive to you. It will be fulfilling and it will be very alive for whoever's watching, whether that's the casting director, a fly who keeps trying to be in this life, or the audience. And you know that when sometimes you're watching movies and there's small characters that are so alive, so present, that feel so real, that they're really impactful and you remember them because they didn't consider it as a small role. They didn't just come and do it or make it work for the script or do it right or just do the job. They actually did the work of the camera is gonna capture this, but where is this person coming from? Who are they? What are they going through? Where are they going after this? And knowing that if all of this is alive in what you're working and creating, when the camera captures any bit of that, it's gonna be very real, very alive, very authentic, very palpable, very moving, very impactful. So that's really what's available for you is more creativity because you get to bring in your stuff, your whole world. You get, get to be super fulfilled because you're really coming with a story that you created. You get to be impactful, you get to be real, you get to bring a whole movie to life because when the small characters, the littler parts are just done in an effective way or do it right way, here's the job, do it, that's it, we're done. The film is not great. It's not alive because everything feels fake. So the opportunity is to really bring yourself fully to that small role, again, small role with a full life, a full person, a full human being so that you don't fall into the trap of thinking it's a small part. It never ever is. It's always a real human going through real circumstances and only a little bit is snatched by the camera. So as usual, if this makes sense, you can type the word free 100 in our comments, in our DMs, so that we can send you some more information about the work we do with actors, it's all about resetting. It's all about moving through your resistance into your freedom, into, into your instinct. So let us know if that is interesting to you and um, we can send you some information. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good one.